Uh, yeah, I'm Steve Randall, running for Overland City Council, 4th Ward. So why are you running for the City Council? As a lot of us get older, we start to understand that community is very important and that what we can do for our community is the most important. And I think it's everyone's obligation to serve in whatever way they can to make their surroundings better. And Overland is a good place to raise a family. Uh, my adult daughter lives in Overland with her family, her husband, and, and, and as I mentioned, my grandfather built a house here in Overland. It's, it has a lot of connections, and I care about Overland, the city, the place, the people. So I want to do my part to serve, if elected, to help Overland in any way I can. What is your biggest concern for Overland as a city? The biggest concern I've said that I think about our future is uh, the city-county merger. Uh, myself, as well as every citizen that I've talked to in regards to the merger, is very against it. And if I am elected, I will do everything I can to make sure that we stay an independent township, as we have been since 1939. What about for the people of Overland? I would say some of the municipal codes are a little restrictive, as, as most especially for people trying to open businesses and that. We have a, a downtown area that is, hasn't quite flourished. I'd like to do what I can to bring small businesses and individuals who want to operate small businesses back here to Overland. Why don't we head on up there and take a look? What are some businesses you think might do great in the Overland Business District? Well, I would think small shops like uh, I have a cousin who does wood burning, Flare Grove Creations, and this a shop like this small storefront here would be perfect for her. You could have uh, a cupcake shop. You could have, you know, any kind of business that a small storefront would be perfect for. We have so many open, available opportunities here, and it just seems like it's going to waste. I know a lot of the businesses uh, can no longer compete with online. And that's understandable, but there are still many things. This building here is probably bigger. You could do an adult daycare. There's many businesses that could be here that aren't, and I'd like to see that change. What will it mean to you to have small businesses brought here? I think small businesses here, brought back here to this downtown, this is the heart of Overland. This is what so many of us who live here in Overland we come through this area every day and to see it flourish i think it, it may snowball and bring other businesses outside the downtown area and as well create a stronger community april 2nd is the date of the election if elected steve hopes to bring positive change to overland's business climate and ensure that the rights of Overland's people stay constitutionally protected.